So for example, my home designer, she's an interior designer and decorator, was gonna bring over some art today. I, brought, I bought some original, like my new home in, in Sedona, I bought a bunch of original art and some, some fine art. Um, like for example, one of the pieces that I have coming over is it's, it's who's seen the block letters by an artist named Robert Indiana from the 60s. And it has the block letter with the words, uh, the letters L-O-V-E. And it's L-O and then V-E underneath, and they're block letters. And so I bought one of Robert Indiana's signed lithographs by the artist, obviously. It was signed 20 years ago, and I acquired the piece of art um, for the primary bedroom in the home. Sometimes I feel more energy. Sometimes I feel more depleted when doing lives, um, and my energy is low. But the point was, is my designer said for literally two months, she goes, I'm going to come get the pieces that you have, the lithographs. I will take them to the frame shop, and I will pick out the frames for them. So it literally, she lives here in town, took her two months, two months to come over and pick up the artwork to take it and have it done. And she said she was going to do it two or three times. Didn't do it. And she said she was going to bring one of the pieces back today. Well, it's three o'clock and I haven't heard from her, which she's already, here's where I want to go. She has already trained me that when I say I'm going to, when she says, not me, and that might be a Freudian slip, like I said, I have work to do too. She's already trained me that when she says she's not going, when, I can't talk today, my brain is muddled. She's trained me that when she says she's going to do something, I already know she's not going to do it when she says she's going to do it. Why? Because she's trained me. And I have many pieces of evidence in front of me telling me that when she says it, it's not going to happen.